Welcome to the Dolphin Discovery Centre, where we celebrate these amazing creatures and their marine environment. Dolphins are actually mammals, just like us. They evolved millions of years ago from four-legged semi-aquatic animals that took to the water to live completely aquatic lives. Today, there are a variety of dolphin species that have unique adaptations to survive in the oceans and rivers all around the world. Here in Kumbana Bay, we are fortunate to share the water with many different dolphins, each with their own individual personality and story. But the story of the Kumbana Bay dolphins goes back thousands of years, well before the Dolphin Discovery Centre. The Noongar people have lived in this area for millennia. Aboriginal people really, you know, look at dolphins as being sacred. When they first came down to the beach, and maybe here at Kumbana Bay, we don't know, the families all came down and they saw these fish jumping out and the men tried to go out and try to catch them, but without success because fish in the water, as you know, is very fast and you can't catch them, you know. In the end, they couldn't get anything, and of course, the women and the children were hungry, and the women started um, crying in, the, in their traditional way. Of course, the children looked at their mums, and they started crying too, you see. And they had their tapping sticks, and they were hitting that while they were wailing, and you know, tapping and wailing, tapping and wailing. And all of a sudden, the men looked up, and they saw all this disturbance out in the water. And as they looked out, they could see that there was a whole school of dolphins coming in. Uh, apparently the, the tapping and the wailing had somehow been heard by the dolphins. So it must have been something similar to their call. You know? So anyway, they started coming in, this big school of dolphins started coming in. As they were coming in, of course, the fish that were there in front of them naturally had to take off, you know. And they were coming in in, in a big school to the beach. Anyway, when the men saw that, oh, they just grabbed their spears or whatever they had and they just grabbed all this fish and you know and they had a good feed and ever since then if they ever wanted a good feed of fish they knew what to do when they came into the beach. When Europeans arrived in Bunbury and the surrounding area they began reshaping the land to suit their needs. Kumbana Bay itself has changed dramatically with the construction of the groin and the closing of the inlet for the creation of the port. All of this has had a dramatic effect on the coastline and the estuary. For a time, the human-dolphin relationship was also lost. That is, until Mrs. Smith. In the 1960s, Mrs. Evelyn Smith began regularly feeding and interacting with the dolphins of Kumbana Bay. She would feed them fish from a small jetty near her home. Although feeding dolphins in this way is now illegal, the relationship that Mrs. Smith developed with the local dolphins inspired a whole new generation of dolphin lovers. In 1989, the Bunbury Dolphin Trust hired the very first dolphin specialist to study these amazing animals. In the year 1990, the interaction zone right outside this building was established to allow dolphins and people to interact in a safe and respectful way. Since the establishment of the Dolphin Discovery Centre in 1994, we have been studying dolphin behaviour to better understand how we can protect these amazing animals. Currently, the biggest threat to dolphin populations worldwide is us, human beings. As humans continue to fish the oceans in increasingly large scale, we are unsettling the fragile balance of the ocean's food chain. The more fish we remove from the ocean, the more difficult it will be for dolphins to find food in the wild. Perhaps even more distressing is the amount of pollution and plastic waste that we have allowed to end up in the ocean. This not only affects the dolphins, it affects the entire marine environment and every living creature that lives in the ocean. We can all make an effort to reduce our waste, reduce our plastic use and make sure our rubbish never ends up in the ocean. Here at the Dolphin Discovery Centre, we are committed to the preservation and conservation of our amazing Kumbana Bay dolphins and their marine environment. The four main objectives of the centre are education, to teach people about the dolphins and why they're here and how they're so unique to this place, the world. The second thing is conservation, to make sure that the environment that we 
have created here, the dolphins will stay here. We don't destroy their, the conservation parts of the environment. So the shipping and the dredging and those sorts of things don't impact on them and they will stay here in this bay. The third thing is uh, we uh, research, is to see where our dolphins, what, what they're doing, where they go, how they feed, those sorts of things. And the fourth thing, of course, is tourism. Every dolphin's fin is unique. It's a different shape, could be a different shape. It could have different rips or marks or scratches on it. There are over 600 different fins. About 150 are the local Coombana Bay dolphins. The other fins would be photographed at Binning Up and as far down as Bustleton. And bearing in mind, dolphins have a home, these dolphins have a home range of about 20 kilometres and there are lots of populations along the coast. They have to be doing dolphin things like feeding, mating, travelling from one location to the other. We, we don't interfere with that at all. Uh, so you can never guess exactly what's going to happen. Every day is different. Yeah, it's a good place. It's a good place to be.